This is our complete KineMaster video editing tutorial for iPhone and Android. We'll run you through everything you need to know, plus a ton of video editing tips to get you cutting videos in the KineMaster app like a pro fast. Okay, let's jump into it. So just so you know, I'm taking you through this tutorial on an iPad. So when you open the app, you're gonna see this home screen and it actually goes straight into the video template section. But the best place to start if you wanna create an edit from scratch is to hit that create button. And in there, you'll see up the very top, it'll say create new. It'll then take you to this screen where I recommend you start with naming your project. And then you get to set your aspect ratio. So you can do 16 by nine, you can do some vertical video options there and some other social media aspect ratios. One thing to note here is that once you pick this and you start editing, you can't come back and swap it out later. You'll have to start a new project for a new aspect ratio. For this tutorial, I'm gonna take you through with a 16 by nine or a widescreen video. Let's hit create and then it's going to take you to this interface. This circle really is the main editing area you want to be referencing and going to throughout your edit. It's where we can import all of our media assets, our audio, record voiceover, add additional video layers and bring other things into our timeline. Hitting that red circle in the middle, that will actually allow you to record directly in the app if you wish to do that. There's also a little icon here, a little marketplace icon or the asset store. And this is where you can purchase things like effects, overlays, transitions, music, and additional fonts. There's a huge range of different templates as well. Let's get out of there for now. Now the big section down the bottom, this is your timeline. This is your editing workspace area. This is where the editing is gonna happen. And the big black box at the top of your screen, this is your playback monitor or the window that's gonna play back your video while you're editing it. Now, if you do have the free version of the app, you'll see this little trash icon up here. If you press on that, you'll see a couple of different subscription options where you can remove that watermark, but I'll show you those options again once we export the project. All right, so we're gonna jump straight in, import some footage and take you through the process for editing in KineMaster. So click on your media and then locate your video files. Go through and find the video files that you want to include simply by clicking on them. Once you tap on them, they'll appear on your timeline as you can see here. So go through and add all your primary clips, the actual core content that you wanna edit down in your video, add those to your timeline now. When you're done, you just hit the tick in the top right hand corner and that'll take you back to editing mode. So we've got our main clip down on the timeline. If we just tap and swipe left and right, then we can move around our footage. We can pinch to zoom in and out. And if you've got multiple clips on your timeline, you can just tap and hold and you can move them around. As you can see, I've moved that in front of this other clip. And if I press on that one, I can move it to the end and swap their order or just to change the positioning of the overall story. Now to trim down your footage, you simply wanna select the clip like we have here and you'll see that it highlights in yellow. And then you wanna to go to the end and we call these thicker yellow sections here, handles. Click on there and just simply drag to your left or drag to your right. But I wanna trim this down, it is really long, so I'll bring it down so it's a little bit more manageable. And to lock that in, you just let go and the clip now starts at that point. And likewise, at the end of our clip, we'll scrub across here. We can do it at the front as well and we scrub around and we can adjust it. With editing programs, there's always multiple ways you can do things. So I'm gonna show you another way where you can cut down clips. With the clip selected here, we can come up to trim and split. And we've got some basic tools up here. You've got also some pretty advanced ones, but most editing software will just have the option here for split a playhead. And as you can see, once I hit that, it will split where this red line, that's our playhead, it will split wherever that might be. So if I moved it over to this clip now and hit split, it will just split there. Now I'm just gonna undo those two. We've got some other options here to trim and split. We can trim left. So the playhead's there, if I hit trim left, it will trim everything to the left and just delete that. So I'll undo. The other option of course is to trim everything from the right. So say I wanna edit from where Kenny here on my right just starts shuffling his papers. If I wanna do it right before that, I'll just put the playhead there and then go trim right and then that is now gone. Now these will let you cut down a huge amount of footage really, really fast because essentially it does what you just saw. It splits the clip, selects it, deletes it and closes up that gap all with one button press. Let me show you a quick another example on this clip here. You can see that the camera is wobbling a little bit there at the start and I don't actually start talking to there. So there's no need for all this other extra footage there at the beginning of the clip. What I'd do there is just trim left and it would get rid of that in one click. How awesome is that? The idea here is to go through and remove everything that you definitely don't want in your edit at this point. We don't need to fine tune everything yet. Now, if you wanna add in any B-roll footage, then you can come over here to layers and click there and you can see you've got the option to add media, effects, text, stickers, and even handwriting. 
but for B-roll footage, we wanna to go to media. From here, you can select the extra footage that you wanna add in. I've got some footage that I've arranged earlier and I've got a beautiful big black snake there for all you people who love snakes. So uh, in Australia, these are everywhere, literally crawling with snakes. No, just kidding. Australia is a beautiful place. You're welcome to come visit anytime. So as you can see, uh, it's just plonk the footage in there and uh, you can see that it's a little bit smaller than our primary footage. If we just click and hold on the arrows in the corner, we can resize it. You can make it smaller or larger. Uh, you can also just click anywhere on the footage itself and just move it around your screen. But you know, for this one, we're gonna make it full screen so we can see that snake in action. So just like our primary footage, if we do tap on the footage itself, we've got all these features over in the right here to adjust with it. I will do some trimming on it. Um, let's trim it just as it starts to really take off. We hit trim, I'm gonna trim everything to the left. Easily done, and then if we go to the end, I've got my son eating a banana watching on. Let's make it more about the snake and trim my son out. So we'll trim everything to the right, and it is that easy. We can also press and move it around. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more and if we press and hold on it, we can move it to wherever we would like that to appear on top of our primary footage. So any extra B-roll footage that you can add in here to help tell your story is great. I'm gonna add in a couple of more clips just so you can see you've got options to put in different B-roll. And as you can see, it'll start to layer on the timeline down here. And again, this shot is looking a little bit small, so I'm gonna bring it up and that's me making a funny face. So I'm gonna trim that. I'm just gonna click on the handle and trim that to a spot where I'm not making a funny face. And then we just want this shot where I'm getting a signage. Click there and go to my features, go to trim and split. And I'm gonna trim everything to the right. And the process is really similar to add in things like titles as well. So if we go back to layers, we can select text and we can type in anything we like. Let's type in my name, Tom Rawlins. I'm gonna hit the right tick. Now it's just put the text down wherever the playhead was, but I wanna have my name text over me. So if I click and hold, I can move that to the front and then we go, it's appearing there. Now, as you can see, it's auto selected white text by default. But if I've got a white background like that, that is no good to anyone. It's quite difficult to read. So over on the right here, you can see we've got all our different options. Um, I can select color and I can simply change it. Let's try that red color. Yeah, nice. And we can also click and hold and resize and also just reposition. Let's put it here. So if we just play it back and hit play, Rollins Media Co is proud to announce that we have a new member joining the team. So we can see that if we play it through, it just appears randomly, then goes into my next shot over Kenny and it's just in a bad spot. So there's a few things we need to do here to make sure it looks a bit more professional. What we can do is click on it and we've got the option to put an in animation here. We hit that, we can do a simple fade. We can make it pop, slide right. There's lots of different options. I'm just gonna go a nice little fade. And then what I would do in this scenario is I could have it disappearing before Kenny appears. In fact, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna trim it down, grabbing the handle, trim it down, choose out animation, and we're gonna have it fade off. So let's go back to the start, hit play, and see what it looks like. Rollins Media Co is proud to announce that we have a new member joining the team. Kenny, welcome. <laughs> Okay, this is just a sample edit, guys. Don't judge too harshly. It makes no sense that a snake appears, but you can see how the text is coming on and coming off before the next shot, and I hope that helps. Okay, so now we've got our primary footage, we've got text and B-roll. I wanna show you how you can create some effects. So as you can see here, there's a plus sign going into this totally different shot there. If we click on that, you can see straight away, we've got all these different effects that we can do. We can do 3D transitions. Let's see what these look like. Yeah, right, and <laughs> we've got some broken glass stuff there. So, you know, I'm gonna hit none because sometimes they can look a little bit corny. So I'm gonna choose none there. Let me show you something that might come in handy. If you've got a shot like this, this is a really good example. There's a nice wide shot, two different people, but you wanna change it up with your angles. What you could do is hit trim, split. We wanna split exactly where the playhead is. And so with the second clip, to make a bit of a transition, all we have to do is make it larger. If I select this clip and hit pan and zoom over here in our settings, and we simply pinch and zoom in and move Kenny wherever we want to move him. Let's make it like that. And then we hit the equal sign there, and that means it's locked in and that shot's not going to change. So that is how we can make sure that shot is gonna remain the same. And if we play it back, let's see how it transitions. 
uh, do a bit of a QA and a and guess your answers to questions. Yes. So what I've, I've found... Excellent. So that is how you do a jump cut. So you can see when we play back, it's a little bit more zoomed in. The shot is definitely different, which makes it a little bit easier on the eyes of viewers watching. So it's really simple in the KineMaster app to do things like zooming in on your clips, but also if you wanna add in things like transitions between the two, then you can definitely do that as well. Now I just wanna take you through some other options here. So transitions are obviously very cool and will come in handy in a lot of different edits. If we click on any of these clips here, you can see we've got a whole lot of other different options in here as well. You've got speed, reverse, pan, zoom, you've got your color filters there, but you've got loads of different options to add effects and have some fun in there. Next up, you'll wanna import any audio files, so any music or sound effects, and you can do that by hitting audio. So in here, you can see you've got music, sound effects, recorded, playlists, lots of different options. We wanna hit music, and there's some, some options I've already brought in earlier, but if we hit on the marketplace icon up there, it will take you to this screen, and don't worry, there are free options. There are obviously paid options, but there are plenty of different free options as well, and you can see that they are labeled under each track. This one is premium, but if we scroll down, we'll find that this one, for example, is free. So let's click on it. So that one has been installed. If we just hit the X, get out of that section. So we're gonna hit the plus icon and it's gonna add it to our timeline. So once again, we can tap on our music track there and we can, if we hold it down, we can move it around. We can have it starting a bit later or earlier, however we choose. We can add cuts, we can trim it. Um, do all the things that we've done previously with our video content. We might wanna select it and, and trim it down. It is a very long track, as you can see, going right out there to the edge. So you might wanna click it, just grab that end handle and trim it all the way down to the end of our vision. If the music track is selected, you've got a heap of different options and look, the mixer one is one of the best. So that can control the volume of just how loud the music is going to be. You can select auto, but I always prefer to manually adjust my audio. And whilst we're talking about audio, something that's really important is that sometimes you'll have footage and maybe particularly B-roll footage that will have natural audio on it that will just impact your or edit and just sound unprofessional because you'll hear the background noise from that B-roll footage. So what you do is you select your B-roll footage, you go to mixer and you wanna turn that down. And then you don't have to worry about any audio coming up from your B-roll footage. Now, when it comes to color grading, you really got two main areas. You can apply a color filter, and this is essentially like an Instagram filter, a preset that you can apply to your clip. So if we want to adjust any of the colors, the brightness, the contrast, all those things, we can do that now. So if we select the clip, we can go back to our settings and see all the different options there. If we go to adjustments. You can see that we can adjust the brightness, although it's not looking any good. So let's leave it as is. We can do the contrast, the saturation, vibrance, temperature, we can make it warmer or cooler. Again, I don't wanna fiddle with that too much, but it's very cool to see all the different options there. We've got some filters as well. And again, they're pretty wild and wacky sometimes. So I generally like to stick to what I've done myself in my camera. And you can go through and do that to each clip as you go. Going through, applying a filter, black and white. Let's make that snake black and white, why not? And then going through again, just adding any adjustments that you might need to do. Okay, so now we've edited our project. It's looking great. The colors are great, transitions are there. Our audio has been adjusted and we're really happy with how it's all looking. There's even text and our name is there as well. So that's really cool. So at this point, it's up to the export. You need to export out your clip. And now this is a very important stage because you wanna make sure your end product is looking as good as it can be before saving your video file out. So to do that, we're gonna hit the button in the top right hand corner here, the little arrow, it's generally known as the share button. And as you can see, save and share and we've got all these different options in here where we can export out all the different settings. Now the default settings here are usually going to be just fine. It's going to look at the clips that you've used in the video and it's going to match those. So in our case our footage was mostly 1080p so let's put it at HD 1080p and it's gone to the frame rate of 30. Obviously you can make adjustments in here you can turn it to 4k or, or downgrade it 
uh, if you need to and you can change the frame rates but I'm going to leave it as is and I think for most people it's highly likely you'll just be leaving it as default too. And for the best quality settings here I would suggest leaving it as high. Let's make it as high as it possibly can be and you won't have any issues by doing that. You can see here if we lower the bit rate then the size of the clip is going to be lower as well but if we put it up high, it's gonna be high megabits, but it's gonna be a great quality end product. So now we're happy, we're gonna hit save as video. Now, as you can see here, once again, the KineMaster subscription options have come up. So that means that we're gonna get rid of the watermark, we'll have unlimited premium assets, and you even get some cloud storage there as well. And it's $49.99 a year or $9.99 a month. You can also see there, you've got three day free trial plus subscribe option, and you can cancel any time, and the free trial can only be used once. Now to help you with your music selection, I've got a video linked on screen, taking you through our top stock music sites that help make all that licensing stuff super easy. Also, if you'd like to check out my channel, we would love to see you over there as well. We've got a heap of behind the scenes content with all things photography and video. As always, check out the links in the description box below. There's a heap of information and resources there. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.